Hi everybody, I have a quick project share for you today and then I'm going to give a walkthrough tutorial of how I made the album using my Cricut. This is an album that I made for my Costa Rica pictures and it's almost entirely done on the Cricut on the inside. So it's a large album, it's 8.5 by 11, it has a corset style binding on it and on the inside it has these overlays that are all made on the Cricut that are large pockets that hold photo mats. So on the front cover, there are a couple pockets and they have multiple photo mats in them. So these are very similar to the overlays here. So it's just all done on the Cricut with the cutting. Same with this. It's a photo booklet, but this is all made on the Cricut. And this photo booklet, doesn't have any cutting on it, it's just pictures. In each of these pockets, there are large photo booklets. Again, nothing specifically difficult. This is the main attraction of the album. You can see better whenever the picture mats are taken out, you can see all of the detail that was cut on the Cricut. And then these photo mats just have little tuck spots behind the pictures. Again, all this is cut out on the Cricut. And on the back page, just more photo mats in the pocket. The back cover has a policy envelope where I've just tucked a photo booklet made from the paper and then some of the extra photos that I decided not to use in the album. It can hold a lot more. In here you can see it has an accordion style side so there's a lot of room for extras here. So what I'm gonna do next is show you on Cricut Design Space how to actually make the overlays in case you have an interest in making an album for yourself. So stay tuned for that, it's next. This is the page that I'm going to show you how to make in Design Space. All the pages are made the exact same way, but this one is the one that we're going to use for the demonstration. The first thing you need to do is load Design Space on your computer or your iPad, whichever you use. And I've already preloaded the things that we're going to be using, but I'll show you where I got these from. First thing, if you go to Shapes, you're going to click on Square, and you're going to select two squares because you're going to be needing those to make the actual overlay. I'm going to delete these two because I've already got my two squares on the screen. The next thing we're going to do is click on text and we're going to search for the text font that we want. It's called Creative Memories Stork Delivery. So you're going to click on whichever text you want and you're going to type in whatever you want the letters or the headings or the captions to say. I've already done that, so I'm just going to delete that. So I have flowers and I have Costa Rica and there are two separate text boxes. The next thing you're going to do is go into image. And depending on what you want to make, you can search for it. So I typed in hibiscus for the flower. And I selected the image that I wanted, and it is this image right here. So I've selected that already, and then I went back and typed in tropical flower, and I've selected one of the other flowers. as well as the leaves from here. And those are this flower here and these leaves. So what we are going to do next, I'm just going to move these out of the way because we're gonna start with these boxes. So we're gonna click on one of the boxes and we're going to edit it. 
we are going to unlock so that we can move the dimensions ourselves and we're going to make the width 8.5 and we're going to make the height 11. So this is the size of our page that is going to be the main overlay. I'm going to shrink the screen down so you can see it better. I'm going to move these around just to get them out of the way. Then I'm going to take this other box and I'm going to change this one to be the size of the actual box that we want to cut out the window in the overlay. So it is going to be a seven and a half inch square. Once I have that shape, I am going to change the color of it to make it easier to see. So to change the color, select the smaller square, click where you see the color dot by cut and just select any color. It doesn't matter just because we want to be able to see the difference. So I've selected red. We're gonna take this square, you're going to send it to the front and we're going to select both of these. And we're going to align center. If it was off center, I'll show you so you can see this better what this feature does. When you select center, it's going to center it for you. And then the bottom one, we are going to just try to align it to where it looks even. So you have the same amount around these three edges. The larger part is up here because that's where the indentation is for the pocket. So once you have both of these, you're going to select them again and we are going to click slice. Once it's sliced, you are going to delete the red square and the one below it and we have our base overlay. From here, what we're going to do is start adding in these different images to this overlay. I'm going to start with flowers and I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger so it's easier to work with. So I know that I want flowers to go up here in the side and I'm going to connect all these letters together. So the first thing I'm going to do is ungroup the letters so that they are now individual letters where I can move them one by one. I want my letter to be one and a half inches high. So I'm going to blow this up more so you can see it better and so I can see it better. And I'm going to start putting these in. And what you want to do is make sure that there is a slight overlay of the letter on top of the, the background here because we're going to weld these together to form one piece. So I'm going to grab all these and put them here and blow this up so you can see it better. I'm just going to go through one at a time, attaching these.
Now that I've lined up my letters, they're not quite to the edge like the other one, so I'm just going to take the overlay and I'm going to move it. So the edge of the S, the tops here are connected. Then I'm going to select all of this and weld it together. So now this is one piece that's connected. We are going to repeat the process. We're going to do this flower next. And again, making sure that it's overlapping with the edges and also overlapping with the F for flowers so that it is connected to everything. Once we have these things selected, again, we're going to hit weld. We're going to next put in Costa Rica. So we're going to bring those over. And we're going to ungroup the letters. We're going to make the letters two inches high. You can make your letters whatever you want. Now this one also has this flower after the A, so it's going to be attached down here. So I'm just going to put it here for now, but I'll probably move it once I'm finished. Okay, so I've got my letters. Now I'm just going to size this flower to make it right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is select all of this and weld it together. And now what you will see is we have all of the images together. We have one left and we'll do the same thing. So this image is going to connect all of the images together. So it's pretty large. So it's not quite touching the R. I want to make sure. For me, it's easier to see when it is the top layer. I can see where it's overlapping and it's touching up here, it's touching down here. I want to get it just a little bit more. There we go. So it's overlapping here and here and here and the R. So I'm going to take both of these and 
weld them together. And now we have one complete overlay. So whenever you cut this, it's gonna cut around all of these lines and all this is going to be blank. I placed a piece of acetate behind it so that it made it a, a protective pocket where you can see behind it, but the paper wasn't flimsy. And you can cut this on any color or you can cut it on decorative paper. You can use this with any type of design you want. I've done these with Disney, and I've done it with a couple of other things, and I think it's a really cute, easy way to add some interesting things into your scrapbooks. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.